I literally went frame by frame to see what he's doing. That one is really the hardest one. There's uh, many movements and also it's really complicated. Going from the bottom right to the left top, it kind of reminds me of baseball swing. Konnichiwa! My name is Toru Uchikaro. I'm an actor from Japan. I've been practicing Japanese martial arts, specifically Japanese swords, for some years. Today, Taishi and I are doing moves from The Witcher. It's very simple spin movement. Let's see how I do it. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I like Taishi's clothing choice today. He looks like a ninja. That was a nice strike. When you're doing a spin and cut, it's really hard to keep the body stable. I'm not sure this turn is actually necessary because he could just cut it like that instead of spinning and cutting. But he's the Witcher, so it looks really cool. Okay, so this one, what he's doing is he's going from the bottom right to the left top. It kind of reminds me of baseball swing. If you get a hit like that, it's, it must be really heavy and dangerous. He looks like powerful, like a strike, cutting and like a hitting. I love how he goes back to his ready position. That looks really cool. If you're learning traditional martial arts, it's not really common to take a step and then spin and slice. So it was, uh, it was challenging. These are really difficult to learn because uh, as a martial artist, I'm not really too familiar with doing the move from this direction once and then immediately spin to the other direction. You uh, tend to lose the balance. And just to memorize these moves, it took a while too. I guess one of the most interesting thing about uh, the Witcher moves is he does a lot of spins, kind of like dancing. It's powerful, but also graceful. Striking and spinning and one more spin and goes back to his ready position. Uh, it's fairly complicated. So this move, he's jumping up and spinning and striking from the left top to the bottom and we have to mix with other two movements. So let's see how we did it. So this one, he's spinning to one side first and then immediately spin to the other direction, uh, which I'm not used to. So let's see how I did it. Oh yeah, it's, it's not that bad. And let's see how Taishi did it. I can see he lost the balance, <laughs> but he's, he's doing pretty well. This move, it's a very simple strike. He's building up his power all the way and strike. Uh, this is something that I'm used to too in Japanese martial arts. We also have something called makiuchi. It's a very simple strike from the top to the middle.
uh, world movements. To be honest, I don't even know where to start. I literally went frame by frame uh, to see what he's doing. Let's see how I did it. Uh, that one is really the hardest one. There's uh, many movements and also it's really complicated. Among Witcher's uh, fight choreography, uh, this was definitely the hardest to just memorize it. In total, this is almost like 30 different movements if you break it down. So all those uh, dodge movements are very uh, defensive movements. Uh, he's striking, but he's taking the distance. He's jumping back to uh, keep the distance between the opponent and himself. I'm guessing doing this move in video game looks great, but I'm not sure how it's gonna work in a real fight because when you are jumping up, you are kind of creating open space. And uh, I feel like the monster could come to me and just kill me. <laughs> Our biggest challenge was because we are so used to traditional martial arts, which doesn't really have spin moves and any kind of fancy movements, that was a big challenge. What we did today was very different and exciting and there was a lot of movements I've never done. I feel like I learned a lot. It was a lot of fun to try. 